I'm Angie McGibbon. I'm an endocrinologist here in Fredericton, New Brunswick, and um, I work in the clinical realm mostly. I also have an administrative role within medical education in the province and in the local area. Um, I started in doing some research projects more for my own entertainment or interests over the past five years and originally started working in some areas of diabetes. In New Brunswick, we have about 56,000 people who have diabetes. We've done a lot of work in our province to address what was thought of about 10 years ago as a lack of diabetes initiative. Um, there is a report card done by the Canadian Diabetes Association several years in a row that identified New Brunswick as having a, a D level in terms of diabetes care. All of us who work in the area in diabetes in New Brunswick knew that we weren't taking care of our patients at a level of D, that we were all taking care of our patients well. Uh, but the problem is that we didn't have an organized structure within the province to understand what we were doing. And so over the past 10 years, um, there's been this amazing growth of diabetes uh, structure and data um, that have been developed through the government of New Brunswick, actually, through uh, the primary care group. Um, and so that has allowed us to really understand how we're taking care of it. We now have a repository of all the people with diabetes. And that information is really the basis for what could be an amazing research um, focus or project to understand diabetes in a rural place like New Brunswick. I think I've been very lucky at getting funding so far. Diabetes Innovation Grant through the government have been very, very helpful for startup grants. And so I haven't had as much trouble as some people in getting the funding for these. I think what's going to be the challenge is taking these small projects and making them into a, a real research focus. Um, because that's going to take much more funding. It's going to take a lot more people. It's going to take more time. And for me, all of the work that we do in research is in the evenings and weekends. It's not part of my job. I do it because I enjoy it and I have good colleagues. But I think the challenge will be finding time and growing these small projects into something bigger. And I don't, I don't know for sure how that's going to work, but it's really nice that we have things like Diabetes Innovation Grants or the New Brunswick Health Research Foundation. Our own research services have been very supportive to help us try to figure out where to go with some of these projects. So I feel pretty lucky in that regard.